now. Weather with 27 Storm Tracks, Catherine Noel. Hey, good morning, everyone. It just started raining in Madison not too long ago. I know we just got the showers here on the west side. I heard it hitting the roof probably the last five minutes. 70 degrees right now, and that's what it feels like. A little bit of a cloudy day out there. Uh, Southeasterly winds still going six miles per hour, so some calmer winds today light winds, I think for others temps right now. This is a big story because we still have this boundary pushing through and we have a massive difference in temps 62 in Baraboo right now and then a 50 mile difference. I mean, you were in 82 in Janesville, so a massive difference 70 in Madison. We we're in the middle of this right on that boundary, which is making it hard for our temperature today to see exactly where the high is going to sit. Areas to the north are much cooler than areas to the south. They're also drier because that boundary has pushed through. They've had the showers. They're getting rid of that rain, the moisture, the humidity and are drying out. The rest of us, we're going to be dealing with it the rest of this afternoon and into the evening. A little humid out there in Platteville and Janesville. Here's a look at that boundary as it continues to push through. So this morning we had showers really mainly ahead of that boundary. So in front of it, they got the rain, a little bit of some moderate showers, no storms really. And then the rest of us, as this boundary continues to push to the south, we're going to see the storms and the showers coming in. We're already seeing that. So who's getting some right now? Some moderate, heavy at times showers in areas to our very southwest corner, Belmont, Darlington area. Schulzburg, Platteville, Cuba City, off to Madison, a little bit of a strand of some showers, heavier and moderate at times going through Maple Bluff, Sun Prairie, Madison area, Middleton, Fitchburg, and to the north, once again getting some of that rain as well. Some of these areas, Juno Adams County, the northern parts were just clipped by the storms that we got yesterday that really just sat through central Wisconsin. Uh, Harris, Princeton area, Montello, Coloma, New Chester, Nesita Adams getting some rain, and this will continue to shift southward throughout the afternoon. So one, two, three, four, five o'clock. I think Madison South really widespread across this region has a good shot of getting some rain and some decent rain too. Even some storms are possible, mainly sticking to the south of Madison. So Walworth County, Rock County, I think they have the best shot at getting some storms today. We do have a chance as it continues throughout the evening. It does start to move more to the eastern side though. The southeast has that better shot at getting some more moderate rain, even some storms while Madison were starting to get rid of this rain, but we still could have some light showers. I think around seven, that is the time that I can have a little bit more confidence of saying we're going to be much drier with rain still heading though off to areas like Watertown Janesville at that time. So really sticking to the east into the very south. Then overnight we do start to clear out more just light rain overall and then we're much drier for Thursday. So your shower planner, you can see exactly where this does increase today throughout the afternoon into the evening hours. That's going to be your peak for these showers and storms Madison South. And then as we go into the evening tonight, Chances just decrease Thursday. We are dry and then chances will definitely go up Friday and into the weekend. We do have a little bit of some wet weather to talk about during our seven day severe threats. It's possible. I think it's on the low end, but just a wind threat for Monroe Janesville area really. So once again, Rock Walworth counties will be watching that. I think heavy rain is the story here. This is a lot more likely. So with these showers and storms, we could see anywhere from about half an inch up to three fourths of an inch. I don't think this will cause any flooding issues, maybe just some localized flooding, but that would be about it at this point. Temperatures are also a story because as we continue to go on throughout the day, you know, Madison, like I said, is on that boundary. It's making it very hard to see where we're going to be. We could be in the low 70s, maybe even an upper, but I think low more likely since we're already sitting there or a mid 70. The south still warm, though, until really this evening. I mean, still, I mean, in the 70s, while the rest of us are in the 60s, much cooler temps to the north today and then overnight into tomorrow. That's when we all kind of start to even out and we're all feeling the 70s. But that wide range does continue today with scattered showers and thunderstorms much drier for Thursday. Friday, they do start again. I think coming into the forecast likely later on Friday into the weekend. There's still a lot of uncertainty with this. This could totally hit us and just mean move south. OK, so. Keep up with us. We have to see the changes that come in the coming days. Yeah, definitely. That's <laughs> for sure.